us want to determine if the figure is a trapezoid. Now, first we have to think, okay, what makes a trapezoid? The only property of a trapezoid is the one pair of parallel sides. Only one. That's it. All the other properties with the legs being congruent, diagonals being congruent, um, base angles, two pairs of base angles congruent. The other prop those properties have to do with isosceles trapezoids. Okay? This one, it just says trapezoid. It's only we're only talking about a trapezoid. So the only property that would make it a trapezoid is that one pair of parallel sides. That's all we have to do. We don't have to do anything else. So um, here, just we we know that if the, if we were to have one pair of parallel sides, if it is trapezoid, then it has to be these two sides here because we know that this and this not going to be parallel, right? So the slope of this is going to be remember rise over run. We're going to count. Rise is going up and down. Run is going side by side. If you go up, remember it's a positive number. If you go down, it's a negative number. If you go to the right, it's a positive number. And if you move to the left, it's a negative number. So here, let's go up to, we're going to find the slope of this right here. And again, we're finding slope of this one and this one because um, if they're parallel, then they'll have the same slope. So we have just have to find the slopes. And if they're the same, then those two will be parallel. Okay, so then the slope of this is going to be 1, 2. So that's plus 2 over 1, 2, 3, 4. It's going to the right, so that's positive. So that's positive 4. That means the slope of this is 1 half. Now, um, if you're still a little unfamiliar with slope, I can also go down just to show you guys. If I go down to, that's negative 2, right? Negative 2 over, and then I'm going to go to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's negative 4 because I went to the left. This also becomes 1 half, right? So it's the same. Okay. I just wanted to show that if you go from this point to this point, you're going to get the same slope as if when you go from this point to that point. So let's look for the slope of this line right here. From here to here, I get. Um, actually, let's go from here to here. So I'm going to go down, what is that, 3? So 1, 2, and then one more, 3. That's negative 3. And then I have to go to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's negative 6 which is 1 half. So this slope is 1 half, and this slope is 1 half. So therefore, this is a trapezoid, yes, because these two are now parallel. Okay, so yes, um, it is a trapezoid. Okay. So that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching educator.com.